Okay, so we got a taxi at the airport. I don't think he knows where we're going. So we're GPSing him along the way. Okay, so we are close to the place so that there's a main street. Just came down to very tie house. We'll see what this looks like. We're dropping bags off and heading out. So this is down in the hostel. Not angry hostel, but hostel district. So kind of a chill out area here. It looks like our room is good. They have beer and horses, so it's good. You can do laundry, which is awesome. Save you a lot of space. So here is something that uh, we've discovered. It's a, to turn the electricity on in the unit, you have to have a key card in. And that then allows you to have air conditioner on and other things, but it doesn't allow us to charge your phone. got to figure this out. This is crazy. We just went through a wall. And then there's another wall to get into. And this is just people coming and in it with us. Kind of reminds me of the Sistine Chapel. We're attempting to get in to see the Emerald Buddha. You need to take your shoes off. I'm guessing no cameras allowed. Looks like right here, honey. So we're just hopping on a water ferry. Came out out of there. Four bot for the ferry. And going over to Wadaroon. So we are at Wadaroon. Just insane height and ornateness of everything. Hey, we're we're heading up these stairs. This kind of reminds me of the hike the other day. These are Yes. See if we make it. We're almost there at the summit. Stairs continue up. I don't know how high up into the top. Okay, we're heading down. I don't know if I should hold the phone or not. We'll give it a shot. Wait, right here. Hit it again, harder. So the, the famous reclining Buddha, and he is 15 meters high and 46 meters long. A lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. So. Here he is laying down and the bottom of his feet are really ornate. Mother of Pearl. Floral. And then uh, like 
men dressed in women and elephants and all kinds of animals. Really cool. Okay, after a hard day of templing, we've got our temple clothes on, long pants, uh, shirt, shoulders covered. Um, you'll typically take your shoes off. No hats in some, some hats in the other. So this is right across the river from the second temple that we saw, Wat Arun. Arun. And just thought we'd come have a cool drink and watch the river traffic go by and enjoy, relax, have a little light lunch. We had to go with another bananas dessert. We had noodles for lunch at the deck. And uh, it's a coconut raisin, rum raisin ice cream with a peanut, it's like a peanut caramel cashew yumminess. Mm. Okay, sorry honey, I'm holding you back. And she's got her fork out there ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video. Okay, everything is done. Drinks, getting to the heat of the day. We are heading back for a shower and a nap and reappear when it gets dark. And I think we're heading to one of the rooftop bars. Really excited about that. And then down to Backpackers or Kosan Road, uh, Backpackers area where we're staying for a uh, little final shopping and maybe another Chang beer. Uh, our feet. A little tuk tuk action. afternoon down at the Watts. These guys are on a first date behind us and we're just listening to him ramble about his health. I did not realize what a large city Bangkok is, and it's growing up, straight up. There's towers and cranes and building all over the place. There's a, this kind of a higher spot that you can see 360 degrees around here. And we discovered, we thought it was a dance floor up here, it's actually a helipad, so. I think we're going to order a helicopter to take us back to the uh, hostel. <laughs> All right, it's the last day we're here. Just checked out of our room, stored our bags at the place. Some uh, airline things have changed. So we're going to head into the another market here. And... Uh, Heading out about 3.30, 4 o'clock this afternoon. And it's only a three hour flight back. So we're gonna get in at seven o'clock today, tonight. And uh, excited to head home. Perfect timing for us, about a week and a half. We're uh, ready for the our good bed and uh, familiar surroundings as well. We are waiting for the uh, exchange to open, so we're going to grab a cup of coffee. You just look for the Illy sign there, and uh, really good uh, Italian coffee. Having a little breakfast this morning. Market doesn't open for a bit. Need to exchange doesn't open for a bit. Something we have noticed that I don't think we mentioned. So, on the tissues on the table, either sometimes it's toilet paper round dispenser but they're kind of a one use you get one one clean and um, you just pull another one and they're pretty uh, paper efficient here okay we are at Chattachuk market it's kind of marketed as a weekend market but it's I guess it is a weekend isn't it so it is a weekend market and they say that you can take a few 
cruise through this pretty quickly, about three hours, or if you actually kind of stop and look, about five hours. So we're gonna do an abridged version today and see what we find. Yeah, it's like a really small table. Here's Hong Kong noodle. So we had a successful day at the market. We we're up by our place trying to grab a little lunch before we grab our luggage and head to the airport. It is warm and humid. Imagine that. It's Monday, uh, about six o'clock, first day back to reality. Um, <laughs> just as far as a wrap up, the uh, the plane landed on time. Uh, didn't get much sleep either of us, and uh, couldn't find our documentation where we parked the car. So it took us a bit to do. Don, you did a little sleuthing and uh, uh, found the on the on Google Map uh, found where we were parked. So she called and uh, took us about. Once we got a hold of them, it took us them about 20, 30 minutes to come pick us up. So we landed around 7.30. We were thinking we'd get home around 10.30, 10 maybe, uh, if we're lucky. Uh, so a little lag in time just getting our car. Uh, once we got there, they had it all ready for us and ready to roll. We went and got Taco Bell <laughs> for dinner, and it tasted really good. And uh, then we hit I-5 coming back, uh, sat in traffic. There was two car, there were two car wrecks. One we sat in traffic for about an hour, uh, just kind of putting along till that cleared up. And then uh, Google notified us of another one coming up. So we, we shunted around that and back, uh, back roads. Ended up getting home about one, uh, took a shower to get the airline junk off me and hit the sack about 1.15. Um, pretty much neither of us slept and then we kind of nodded back and forth. I think I took three naps uh, during the day on Sunday, went out for dinner and then didn't sleep maybe on and off a couple hours Mon Sunday night uh, to Monday. So back to work was a little challenging today, um, but I feel very oriented and back on top of things, which is always good when you're coming back to work from a vacation. And uh, then we should have a kind of a tips and tricks, the things we learned ourselves um, about travel in Thailand, travel in general. Uh, so those will be coming up here pretty soon. And uh, glad you came along with this journey with us. It was, it was quite the adventure. Um, the heat was probably the main thing, humidity. But uh, through it all, we... Uh, we always have a good time, so glad you joined us.